What can a father say to the one who killed his daughter? What could possibly make a difference to you? So I'll start with something simple. You killed my daughter. You brutally raped her, and then you mercilessly killed her. And I can see that the truth of that means nothing to you. You almost got away with it. In fact, it was almost too easy. So easy that you're probably itching to do it again. And maybe that's why every time you got kicked out of some place, you make sure to grab your nylon toe straps and your ropes. But you were always so polite. Nobody would notice something like that, just an old rope. Or maybe your other favorite, that blue cable. Now I thought the prosecution did a great job. But with all due respect, they got one thing wrong. In their closing argument, they said that Hadika did not prevail. But that's not entirely true, is it? I think you messed with the wrong girl that night. I really do. Hadika was so strong-willed and determined, and she loved her friends, that she would never want to see them hurt. So she would not let this go. She would not go without a fight. She has been telling her story in every possible way, with all the clues her body could hold, down to a single strand of her hair. But that's not all. Do you believe in coincidence? Because I don't. Was it a coincidence that a neighbor living behind medical arts happened to see smoke that morning, happened to call 911? Was it a coincidence that those kind firemen happened to respond, help you move your things, hold your bike for you with your name on it? Was it a coincidence that those same two firemen saw you on TV two days later? Because I don't. Talk about beyond a reasonable doubt. I don't think so. From the ring on her finger that helped us identify her body without having to see the damage you inflicted, to the receipt in the pocket of her sweater with her name on it, and all of the other stuff that you stole from her, these cried out, hey, this is the guy right here. And the good, kind people of Boston were listening. So in the end, she did prevail. Because her spirit, her bright faith, is looking down on this scene right now and smiling with the satisfaction that not only were you caught and convicted for the terrible crimes you committed against her, but more importantly, you will never, ever do these things again. Haruka did not choose to sacrifice herself. You made that choice for her. But she didn't die in vain. We will never know how many lives she saved through the events of her death, but judging by the arsenal of ropes and straps and cords and the plethora of bloods that you had gathered, she was the first victim in what you hoped would be a long run of unsolved murders. So the way I look at it, she won. I wish she was still here where I could see her. But I do find comfort in knowing that she's helped stop a serial killer in his tracks. And I promise you this, the Texas State Board of Paroles and Pardons will need to build a new room to hold all the letters that I and everyone who loves Hadika will be writing to make sure that your twisted fantasies remain just that, fantasies. May God have mercy on your soul and lead you to repent one day for your crimes. Thank you.
Thank you, Doctor. Mr. Kreiner, you're remanded to the custody of the sheriff. Yes, sir. 